y'all it's your girl Dej Janae Exo and I'm back with another video so today's video gotta get comfortable so today's video as you can tell by the title I will be doing a college I guess video so I guess like a college advice video for like incoming freshmen or transfers anybody that's trying to go to georgia southern so as you guys may or may not know i am a junior at georgia southern university i've been there for all three of my years so i pretty much have a good grasp of everything that goes on at georgia southern so i'm just going to in this video i'm just going to tell you some pros and cons and i came up with a list i have 10 pros and 10 cons i just tried to make it even so some of this stuff might be like simple stuff but i just tried to make the list even 10 and 10 because it was easier for me to come up with more pros than cons, but I just tried to come up with a lot of things that people would be looking for in a college, so or things that they wouldn't be looking for in choosing a college. So I'm just gonna go through my list and I'm gonna, I'm gonna start off with the pros, just because that's the first thing I got on my list. So the first pro I have is that it's a good mix. So I know when I was choosing a college, I come from College Park, Riverdale area. So that's a predominantly black area. So like my entire life, I was going to school with people that look just like me. And I'm used to working with people and like mingling with people that look just like me. So I told myself that when I go to college, I wanted to go to a school that had a mixture of ethnic ethnicities and races because I know when I get into my career I'm not going to just be working with people that look like me so I wanted to go ahead and start learning how to interact and talk to people that are not black so my second pro is that it's far but it's not too far so this is just me speaking from people in Atlanta because that's where I live so Georgia Southern is three hours from Atlanta so I told myself that when I go to college that I'm, I want to get away like I don't want to be right up the street at Georgia State or somewhere close to where I can just drive home if like you know I don't know when you're a freshman you get really homesick and you want to drive home all the time but I told myself like if I go far enough I won't be tempted to just come back whenever so I chose a school that was three hours away and so I mean it's far but it's not too far like if I need to come home I can come home and it won't be like a tragic tragic drive like of course I hate driving three hours because like for what but it's not too far so that's a good thing the third thing on my list is for the most part it, there is so many friendly people that go to georgia southern when i was a freshman it wasn't hard for me to meet some people and you know like make friends or whatever because like everybody is looking to meet different people and this might be like this might be the same for any college but i know speaking for georgia southern specifically it was so easy to make friends because everybody's friendly like you can smile at somebody and they'll smile back like i know here where i live you smile at somebody they're gonna be looking at you like why is this girl smiling at me so it's just like going to georgia southern i wasn't used to that like you can smile and wave at anybody and they'll smile and wave back even if they don't know who you are they're gonna smile and wave back so that's one good thing um yeah, I made my first friend when I was at orientation and like we would just sat by each other and I just, you know how you say something like, say a side comment to like something that somebody was saying and then the person next to you laugh, like that's what happened. And we became friends like that. So it's just easy to make friends at Georgia Southern. The next thing I have on my list, number four, free stuff. So Georgia Southern is notorious for giving us free stuff. When I tell y'all every day we go, we have this little thing called the rotunda. And so it's basically like, during classes where everybody goes and hang out it's connected to our union so like the union is where like everybody goes in between classes and you know just chill have something to drink eat it's a chick-fil-a in there chick-fil-a is always busy whatever but the rotunda is connected to it and that's where like they have like different events so like on certain days they may have things like a career fair or an organization fair or a housing fair around a rotunda and people are always giving away free stuff or some people even have like bake sales some people like i mean of course some people sell stuff for their organization trying to raise money but for the most part we get so much free stuff at georgia southern i can't even count how many free t-shirts i didn't got since i didn't been here and i know this might sound like who wants a free t-shirt because i thought the same thing but when you get in college and you just see people giving out free t-shirts them t-shirt t-shirts are what you wear to class every day these t-shirts that they hand out you see people wearing these to class you don't get dressed up to go to class unless it's like your birthday or it's like a special day or like the first day of class but after that t-shirt leggings shorts that's all you wear you don't wear nothing spectacular so i guess that's another good thing about going to my school you don't have to spend all that money on like all these 
cute clothes and trying to be all fancy and cute going to class every day because you're not going to see that. Like, I mean, you might see a few people that get dressed up every day, you know, mostly like fashion majors or something along those lines. You might see people getting dressed up on random days. People feel like getting cute. But for the most part, you see people wearing T-shirts, shorts, hats. You don't see people getting all cute to go to class. And so that's another good thing. Um, number five, campus involvement. So I put like school spirit in parentheses. My school is very big on school spirit. And this is something that I am not used to coming from a small high school in a predominantly black area. I'm not used to seeing so many people like game day, dressed up in their colors, face paint, body paint, you know, supporting the school, going to all the football games, cheering on the team. I'm not used to that. At Georgia Southern, game days are like the most fun days ever. Like from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep, it's just nonstop fun. Like when you wake up, of course, you get dressed, all that type of stuff, it's tailgating going on until the game starts. So you can go get you some free food. Once again, free stuff. You can go get you some free food. They be cooking, they be barbecuing. You can walk around, you know, mingle. And then after the tailgates, when the game start, game start, everybody turned up, everybody cheering on their team, all the people, everybody drunk, if you're 21 and older. We have like a student section, which is on the, visitor side which is like even more messy because like we have our home side that's where like mostly parents alumni you know little kids that's where they sit on the opposite side of the field but we sit on the visitor side which is basically our side too because the student section is always packed and like basically the whole game you just hear people talking junk about the other team because we sit behind the opposite team so we, you just hear people talking junk you see like the other football players talking junk to us it's just so like funny I don't know. I just love going to the games when it's not too hot. Yeah, the games are always fun. And then after the games, it's for the nighttime turn up. Because if we win, like I said, it don't matter if we win or lose. We're going to turn up regardless. If we win, we turn up times two. If we lose, we still turn up. You feel me? So it's like the nightlife after the games be lit because, like, y'all, it just be lit. So keep that in mind, too. The next thing I have is good housing. So my school compared, to, and I'm just comparing this to my uh, to my friends I have personally that go to other schools. But when we talk about like our schools and like housing and stuff, we have the best housing for freshmen, upperclassmen, anybody compared to where my where my friends go. I have friends that go to Clark. I have friends that go to Albany. I have friends that go to um, Alabama State. I have friends that go everywhere. And compared to all of those places, we have some pretty good housing. And it might be because we're a PWI, like I said, you know, PWIs always mostly look nicer than HBCUs, but HBCUs apparently are like the more fun schools. I don't know, but our housing is really nice. For my freshman year, I had my own room. Um, I shared a bathroom with one girl, but it was just one girl compared to like my friend that went to Alabama, she shared a room and then she shared a bathroom with six girls. That's ridiculous. But I mean, hey, you get it how you get it. You live it how you live it. But we have really good housing. We have a lot of different housing choices as well. But of course, it's first come, first serve. So like if you don't, I mean, if you don't jump for it, you're not going to get it. So that's that. And then also we have this thing called, I don't even know what it's called actually, but it's like a room switch week. So like after the first week of school, it might be like the third week of school, you have the chance of swapping rooms with anybody that like didn't show up on the first day or didn't like come to college like they planned to, or like people who want to switch their room all together, you have an opportunity to like switch. So I guess they do it like three weeks after school starts so you can get a good feel for your roommate and like the school and all things like that. But you get a chance to switch your room basically and if a room is open you don't have to switch with anybody you can just take that room but i know for me one of my roommates that i'm still roommates with now my junior year she wasn't my initial roommate freshman year but she one of my roommates that i initially had dropped out her first month of school and the girl who i'm roommates with now she swapped rooms with her i guess technically she just took her room so that's one good thing. So if you don't like what you have, if you don't like the room that you have, you can always switch. The next thing I have, oh, that was my number eight too. So yeah, just, yeah. Um, the next thing I have is that number seven, we're close to Savannah. So we're like 45 minutes to an hour from Savannah, which if you live in Atlanta, that's not far because you travel, well, I know at least me, travel 40, 30 minutes to go to a good mall. So that's not really that bad. So everybody always say, Georgia Southern don't have nowhere to go, you know, it's nothing to do, blah, blah, blah. But we live 
like, you know, 45 minutes from Atlanta, 30 minutes from Pooler, which is like Savannah, technically. So that's another good thing. Um, I already talked about the room swap. Number nine, the city is close together. So like I said, from Atlanta, you travel an hour, 30 minutes to get to a good mall. In Statesboro, literally everything is within five minutes from each other. The, to go to the nearest Walmart, literally, I travel probably less than two minutes. To get to Wendy's, less than five minutes. To get to anywhere I need to go, everything is literally right next to each other. You don't have to go far to go shopping or anything. Like the city of Statesboro, it's probably five minutes from where I live. So everything is close together. And that's one good thing I like about that. Um, Ten, my last pro is that overall it's a good environment i really like my school i like how everybody's all like close like you know everybody got their own little click but every click clicks with other clicks if you know what i mean so like i have my little friend group my roommates which my friend group is really just my roommates but like when we go out we see other people that we know you know we mingle together we can party together we can turn up together and it's all good and dandy so that's one good thing i like and it's just overall like the classes are good they have a lot plenty and plenty of plenty of things that you can major in i changed my major already so i don't plan on changing it again because i don't want to be in college longer than i have to be so yeah it's plenty of things you can major in you can pick up minors you can take just regular classes if you want for free you can get your the advisors are really going to be like your best friends because they are the ones that's keeping you on track to graduate they're the ones that's going to be staying on your behind and make sure you're doing what you got to do um the professors are really nice everybody try really everyone wants to see you succeed so it's like it's hard to fail if you go to college and you fail it's just because you didn't try so it's just like i don't know what to tell you so Overall, I rate my school, I want to say a good 9.5 out of 10. And we'll get into why it's not the complete 10 out of 10 when I get to the cons. But overall, my school, my campus is very, very, very beautiful. Like, I have the prettiest campus I have ever seen. Um, and I'll insert pictures here or there or the thumbnail. You'll see something. But, yeah, everything is just a good time at school. I just love my school. And I don't plan on transferring. And I'm glad I chose the school I chose. And I'm going to make another video almost fell i'm gonna make another video um explaining how i chose georgia southern because georgia southern was not my first choice of a school to go to so i'll make a video about that later explaining my whole process and picking my school so yeah that's enough with the pros i have i can keep going on and on but this video is getting kind of long so we're just going to go ahead and hit the cons so con number one we have a very big campus so i mean once you get used to it it's not as big as it seems because you can walk like if you have 15 minutes to get to class you can make make it to class in 15 minutes if you walk but you just have to walk kind of fast and you know ain't nobody trying to sweat walking into class or breathing hard walking into class so the campus is kind of big especially if you have one class in the biological sciences building which is on this side of campus and then you have to go to like the union which is on this side of campus so the campus is pretty big it's a lot of kids but once you get the hang of it you'll be fine um con number two i put the dining plan so this could be a pro and a con but for i'll just talk about the pro first so um we have a very nice cafeteria we call it landrum people call it a dining hall people call it the commons i don't know what people call what everybody else whatever but we have a very nice cafeteria we have a lot of choices we have like breakfast and it's our cafeteria is like from eight no it's like from six in the morning to like 11 at night it's open that whole entire time you can go and it's however many times you want to eat whatever you want to if you have the dining meal plan obviously but we have like breakfast salad soup sandwiches steak wings fries pasta um they have traditions which is like soul food kind of they have what else is in there fruit they got everything you could think of in there and it sounds all good and you don't every day when you first get your meal plan you want to go in there every day and eat but that's the thing when you go in there so much you get tired of it instantly like my first semester freshman year i was in landrum every day three times four times a day eating just eating and eating just because it's like so much food like why not i'm paying for it i might as well but by my second semester freshman year i was tired of seeing the same thing and i guess that's kind of 
it's good that we have so many choices but it's bad at the same time because it's like we have the same choices every day so it's like nothing excites you after a while like if for example if we had different days like we have pasta like once every two weeks when it comes around to have pasta again it's gonna be exciting because we can't have this on a regular day on an everyday basis so it's just like seeing the same food every day it's going you're gonna get tired of it basically third thing on my list i have the mall so if you come to georgia southern and you become a student and you know you become an eagle you're going to refer or you're going to hear people referring to the mall as the small and we refer to it as the small because it's like the statesboro mall and then it's like small because it's really small so we call it the small because it's not really a mall it's a small but um yeah our mall is not it like i said earlier we live close to savannah so that's one good thing about having a small mall you can go to savannah well that's not really a good thing but since we have a small mall we live close to savannah so if you really need to go shopping you can go there and get what you need but like the highlight of our small is freaking sports edition and like hibbit sports and we have route 21 but nobody really shops at route 21 anymore so it's just like was there, there's nothing that the mall can do for me so i don't personally shop at the mall i really order online but you know everybody's different if you like route 21 you know you shop at route 21. there are four on my list i have bugs so we live in a very we live close to savannah like i said so we have gnats we have like all types of insects you go outside you walk into a swamp full of gnats you go outside you see all these love bugs and if you don't know what a love bug is if you come to georgia southern you'll know what a love bug is by the, your first day of class because they're very irritating and you're gonna know exactly what they are but my first time seeing love bugs is when i was in florida when i was younger and i have never seen them in atlanta like i've never seen a love bug in atlanta i didn't see them again until my sophomore year in college because freshman year i don't even remember seeing them but sophomore year i don't know but them things they was vicious they just don't mm, and they don't bite they're just annoying like oh i can't explain long lines and chick-fil-a so like i said earlier we have a union where everybody goes in between classes let's just say you got a class in the union and your next class is in the same classroom in the union and you think you finna go in chick-fil-a get you something real quick and then make it to class you're mistaken especially if you go during the coon hours which is what i call them which is basically like between the hours of 11 and 1 because everybody be in the union around them t around that time so if you go during the coon hours baby you're not gonna get anything from chick-fil-a because them lies mm -mm. Mm -mm. um the next thing i have is number five and i haven't experienced this but i know that it's there because i've had some people tell me about their experiences but i have racism so like i said i've never encountered any racist things towards me but i've heard some stories from people that i talk to and i'm just gonna say we go to a pwi is predominantly white you're going to come across some people who are racist and not even white people they're racist black people as well black people that don't like white people it's white people that don't like black people so you're gonna see it like i said i personally haven't but you may see it or you may not see it so it's just something i wanted to throw out there just in case you want to and just in case you were wondering um the next thing i have number six is hot y'all have not experienced hot until you have come to georgia southern university i am a person i don't do the heat i like the air i'd rather be cold than be hot because you can put on a million layers of clothes to be warm but you can't strip butt naked in um in a um, crowd of people statesboro is hot and it could be like 85 degrees outside but the humidity boy it is hot don't be surprised when you come down there and you only been outside for five minutes but you sweating like you just ran a marathon because y'all it is hot that's why i said going to class nobody really gets dressed up going to class because we just trying to put on something light something lightweight that we can just go to class and be cool in because y'all like i wear in the summertime i wear shorts and a t-shirt to class every day and some slides because it's that freaking hot i don't even wear long hair when it's hot when it's um summertime because it sticks to your neck and it just it feels nasty so when i go to school in the summertime i either have like braids or i have a bob or something of that sort because long hair is not gonna be your friend in the summertime in statesboro so i'm just gonna leave that out there um number seven it's in the middle of nowhere so like i said statesboro is really not that much to do i mean you can make you can make do with what we have like we have 
bowling alley, we have like laser tag. We have, we don't have a skating rink. That's something Statesboro should invest in. But you can find something to do in Statesboro, but if you coming from Atlanta thinking you finna just, every day you finna go out and find something to do like how you would there, you're gonna be sadly mistaken when you come to Statesboro because it's really nothing to do. Like I said, we live 35, 45 an hour from Savannah. So if you really need something to do, you can travel to Savannah and find something. But I feel like in about 10 years, Statesboro gonna be popping up because they've been building a lot of stuff. Um, we just got like an escape room and I really want to try that because I've always wanted to try an escape room So I think I might try that when I go back, but Yeah, you can like I said you can find something to do even if you don't physically like have somewhere to go Like for me when I want to have fun. I just me and my girls we get together. We play music We turn up that's what we call fun and once you get to college You're gonna realize that's all you need really like going out cuz y'all college students at the end of the day Y'all don't be having money to just be going to pay this 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 to go have fun you can really just y'all can go in a room somebody bring a speaker somebody bring something to eat somebody bring something to drink and we all good so that's one thing um well that's another thing not one thing but number eight i have bad housing like even though we have 80 percent good housing we still have the 20 percent that's bad housing which is i consider watson and kennedy so if you guys are interested in like if you're like choosing where to stay, I wouldn't suggest staying in Watson or Kennedy because for my girls, boys, I think boys are different, but for my girls, you're not gonna wanna stay there. Cause now I'm gonna make a whole nother video about like which res the pros and cons of different residence halls coming from a student that's actually at Georgia Southern. So you can get like more of an insight when choosing where to stay. But that's another video, that's another time. Um, and the last thing I have for cons is black parties tend to get shut down a lot like we have this thing called greek row which is all of the white sororities and fraternities they have like these big houses on this one street and like on the weekends of course you know the frats and the sororities they be turning up they be well not the girls they go up to the boys houses but the frats be turning up they be having the beer kegs they be having all this underage drinking they be having all types of stuff going on but i promise y'all their party i have never heard about a party on greek row getting shut down and it's crazy because the police officers are always driving up and down the street and no, they don't get shut down like ever. But we can have just loud music playing in a room. It could be like five people in the room. If the music too loud, somebody call a complaint, police coming to your door on um, what's going on. So for the most part, like the parties we go to, if a party gets shut down, it's always another move right after that one. So it's like. If this one gets shut down, we just want to go to another one and turn up. And then when that one gets shut down, we like basically you party hop. But if you don't have a car, I would say like find somebody, find a friend that has a car if you're trying to go out. Because I'm pretty sure you're not going to just go to one party. But Georgia Southern has this thing called shuttle bus. So like it's free transportation from like 11 to 2 o'clock in the morning. They take you anywhere you want to go without no questions asked if you're too drunk to drive home which you shouldn't be because if you're a freshman you should be less than 21 so you shouldn't be drinking anyway but if you are drunk and you can't make it to your house or you don't want to drive home shuttle gus can take you home no questions asked i know when i was a freshman i needed to get around to different parts because i didn't have my car freshman year i used to use shuttle gus and it got me where i needed to go so that's another good pro but um yeah i'm not gonna keep talking because this video is really really long and i have to edit it so i'm just gonna end it at this and if you guys have any other questions you want to um want me to address leave them down below because i know it's about that time for seniors to start choosing what school they want to go to and a lot of people might be looking into georgia southern so if you guys have any other questions just let me know down below and i'll make another video addressing some of the questions or i can just answer your comments it doesn't really matter but um yeah y'all so i'm just gonna go ahead and end this video here and i will see y'all in my next video so until then peace I don't really want no food. hey yo draco got that kick back when they kick back you can't get your shit back in fact it's that bitch that i hate small talk i don't fuck with your chat ac just stopped working so they hit me told me bring my